well bless the lord thanks for joining me romans 15 and 8 continue taking a verse again for i tell you that christ became a servant to the circumcised to show god's truthfulness because the bible tells us that god is not a man that he should lie we live in a world with so many lies fake news and people making promises and they don't keep them but when god makes a promise he keeps his promise um he promised to send a savior into the world and he did and he promised that jesus will return and he will he promised to give us the holy spirit and he did he promised the born again experience and he's fulfilling that in the lives of many people who come to him the bible says in order to conform the promises given to the patriarch so god is fulfilling all those promises but it's not just to the patriarch it's not just to the the jews he says in order that the gentiles might glorify god for his mercy who are the gentiles gentiles are people who are not jews so anyone who's non-jewish that's a gentile i'm a gentile but jesus came not just for the jews he came also for the gentiles in order that the gentiles might glorify god for his mercy so paul is emphasizing here that jesus came into the world not just to save the jews be a fulfillment and be the messiah for the jews but he also came to die for the sins of the entire world and he begins to quote some of the verses in the old testament as it is written therefore i will praise you among the gentiles and sing to your name then he goes on he says and again it is said rejoice O gentiles with his people reading on and again praise the lord so these are different verses quotations from the old testament so even within that that covenant established with the jews and and, and the scriptures given to the jews we see little glimpses there of god's plan to save the entire world to reach the entire world again praise the lord all ye gentiles and let all the peoples extol him and again isaiah now he names the prophet says the root of jesse will come now who's the root of jesse well jesse's jesse's son was david david who slew the giant goliath and the greatest king um and beloved king um of the jews the israel and, and um the united kingdom the beloved psalmist we call him a man after god's own heart then through david came solomon and so on and his descendants but god promised through the prophet isaiah the root of jesse will come so it's not talking about david so someone else even he who arises to rule the gentiles he's going to come to rule the gentiles and the bible says in him will the gentiles hope so our faith our trust today we have taken our faith our trust and we have put it upon jesus in jesus and he is the king of kings the lord of lords he is the ruler of the universe he is the one who died for our sins he's the savior of the world and we put our hope and our trust in him who are you trusting in today are you trusting in someone else or are you putting your faith and your confidence in the lord jesus christ you know jesus never fails Amen.